Hi my haters, Judy Ann here from JustDid8.com and today we're going to be making Ganiling na menudo Picadillo But you know what? This is a hashtag ground beef collaboration with Chef Adventures and so definitely check out their hashtag ground beef creation whenever you have a chance But we're going to go ahead and hit the kitchen and let's make Ganiling na menudo Picadillo I'm going to show you how to make amazing things with your ground beef. And let's make ganiling na menudo. I'm putting one tablespoon of virgin sunflower oil. You can use any oil of your choice, making sure it's fully coat it. Alright, so we're going to put in some chopped garlic. There we go. I'm going to put my heat to medium and then some chopped onion. Let's see. You know what they say, right? Whenever you don't really have dinner cooking and your husband's coming home, just make sure you fry up some onions and garlic like this and he thinks he's coming home to good dinner. So, here's a trick right here. Okay, so I think it's sweated enough now. I'm gonna go ahead and add my beef. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my uh, hamburger on my ground beef. It's literally 85% um, ground chuck here and 15% fat. We're gonna saute these guys. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes, and I'm going to shuffle this guy up, and then cover it. Okay, so it's been literally a minute covered under medium low heat. We're going to add in our carrots and peas, and these are frozen carrots and peas. We're mixing it in. Because the ground beef is practically already cooked now. Remember, we're on medium to medium low heat. This is medium low heat right now. And we're just simply putting in the frozen carrots and peas and just mixing it in and then covering it again. We're going to cover it and put it under medium low heat for two minutes. Okay, so it's been three minutes actually, and uh, now we're gonna mix these guys in again, make sure everyone's looking good. You could eat this with a bowl of rice. You could actually put this inside um, empanadas. Um, you want, you could put this inside chupao. You could, um, Put it inside lumpia. You could put it in. Uh, lumpia is a uh, egg roll. You could put it inside a white seam bun, which is chupao, and you could put it inside empanada, which is kind of like a, a, a savory pastry. And or you could just simply eat this with a bowl of rice. And what's another thing? I've seen it. Oh, this is like a base. You could make this as a torta tolong. As in, like, you could make this, have a little bit of this ground beef, this cooked ground beef, and have it inside your omelette. It's pretty common in the Philippines to eat it like that as well. So, this um, ground beef recipe right here could lead to other amazing, yummy dishes. So, we're going to go ahead now to add the one teaspoon of patis, which is uh, nukmam, which is uh, fish sauce. Okay, we're gonna add one teaspoon, and then we're gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay, and then we're gonna stir these guys in. That's the flavor right there. Now, if you're actually intimidated by the nukmam, which is the patis, which is fish sauce, um, then you could definitely um, just skip out on that and um, just focus on the soy sauce. 
Now this right here is optional, but um, we like to have jalapenos. So go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and add jalapenos in ours with a little bit of the uh, jalapeno pickling juice, one tablespoon here. Um, but that's definitely optional. It gives it a kick of a spice a little bit. And mix this line in. Again, that was definitely optional. Um, putting in the jalapeno or the pickled jalapeno is not making it traditional. But um, that's why it's optional. Hey, I rhymed right there. That's so funny. <laughs> Are you having fun in the kitchen? I know I am. Hopefully you are too. So I'm chop I'm literally like using my what do you call this? Spatula. Uh, it's one of my it's one of our favorite spatulas here. And I'll go ahead and link that in the description box below as well. It's by No Nor Pro. Um, but yeah, we're cut I'm cutting the jalapenos right here on the stove top, just like that. Okay, mix it in, mix it in, mix, mix, mix. Then we're gonna fin finally add in our potato. I'm literally just using one potato and they're diced in bite-sized pieces like this and red potatoes. We're gonna put it in. We're gonna mix this guy in. Now I'm going to, see I'm slowly putting in like half a potato kind of eyeballing it if it's too much. So it's up to you if you like more potato or more ground beef. I'm more about like the more vegetables the better. Um, that's just me. Um, but I think yeah. My potato was pretty large so it was like the size of a, um, a softball. So, so if you have a, uh, a small potato that's the size of a baseball uh, then that's perfect, but I had a, a potato that's size of a softball, and so that's why uh, I only put half a, of the potato in here. And now we're gonna go ahead and put, putting in half a cup of water, covering it so on medium heat. I'm gonna let it steam this way uh, for a couple minutes. Are you liking this kind of content? Definitely hit the share button and the like button because you might have some friends that are interested in knowing how to make it the Filipino version of Pigadillo. Okay, it's been two minutes here. I'm stirring it in. My potatoes are getting... Ah. So my potatoes are done. My beef is done. My potato test is I get some potatoes and I just kind of Smoosh it. If it's al dente, it's a little hard, but yet soft in the center. That's how I like it. Or I know some people that actually like potatoes mushy. So you would um, definitely add another one fourth cup of water and, and cover it. My potato test with my spatula, it passes. So now some people actually like to put in um, raisins at this point. I, did, I don't necessarily care for raisins, so I'm skipping that part out. Okay, so at this point, I think I'm ready to plate. It always goes well with a plate of rice. All right, my eaters, hopefully you enjoyed this pigadillo recipe. Definitely hit the share button. You might have some family and friends that are interested in learning how to make this recipe. Uh, definitely check out our hashtag ground beef friends at Chef Adventures and see what kind of things they created with hashtag ground beef. Um, yeah, so definitely hit the red subscribe button and the bell so you could be an eater too. And I'll see you in the next video. Always expand your mind, explore your palate, and then just keep chasing that flavor, my eaters. Stay tuned for the shout out winner. Definitely comment down below to let me know if you have a similar recipe. Yeah, so that you could be the next shout out winner for the next uploaded video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be doing a shout out next from my last uploaded video. Stay tuned.
Did you know that we did a cookbook? Check out our link in the description box below. And remember friends, expand, expand your mind, explore your palate, and let's keep chasing the flavor, my aiders. See you in the next video. See you in the next video. That's my Pomeranian parking in the background. Check out her video for promoting her sandwich at work. And then the video. So many different ways to cook up ground beef. And today we made Ganaling na menudo. I'll see you in the next video.